dealing with. Young man, I want to tell you something today. If you, in time, the Lord deals with you about preaching the Word of God, get along by yourself. You ask God, you make sure that it's God's call on your life to preach the gospel. You stay clean. And when God gives you the go, you step out and you preach the gospel. You answer the call. These disciples answered the call of God. They cast down their nets. They cast off their nets. And they went and followed Jesus. And I'm going to tell you something, church, today. The greatest thing you and I can ever do this year is to follow Jesus and let Him make disciples out of us. That's what we all should be. We should all be teachers of the gospel and teachers of the Word of God. So He called me. And you say, well, God's not called me to do anything. Listen, He's called everybody in here to serve Him. He's called everybody in here to be a witness for Him. He's called everybody in here to be a worshiper of Him. Follow the call of God. Answer the call of God. And proclaim what thus saith the Word of God to all those that listen to you, that hear you. He's something, he has something for all of you to do and all of, uh, of me to do. God has something for you to do. Preacher, I don't know what that is. Wait on the Lord. And again, I say wait on the Lord. Be patient and wait on Him. God will give you the desire to heart. When I was a little kid, I've told this story before, but sometimes it helps people. I wanted to be a preacher. Now that's, you know, I'm, I'm guessing that's rare. My son wanted to be a preacher when he was growing up. My son got saved at the age of four, and by six o'clock, or by the age he was six or seven years old, Every tree, every bird, every frog, every worm, every termite, uh, everything that was breathing and growing or not, every rock, had heard the gospel message in Sugar Cove. My mama would keep him. He'd get out on the porch and get his Bible, and he'd start preaching. And she said, I was afraid that the neighbors were going to call on me because he sounded like he was being beaten. He had the call, he had the call of God on him. And, and he wanted to preach, and later God called him to preach. When I was little, I'd do the same thing. Only I'd get out in the woods, and I'd have me deacons, and I'd have me a song leader, have me an offering plate. Yes, sir, I was Baptist, buddy. We'd take up an offering, and I, like I said, I don't ever remember what happened to the money. It wasn't much, four or five cents. But then later on, you know, later on, God called me to preach. Amen. I'm glad he did. Oh, I rebelled for a while, but God got a hold of me, and I understood God wanted me to preach the gospel, and Lord helping me, I want to do it till the day I die. Amen. And I hope that's at least another 50 years with lungs and breath to preach. If God's calling you, there's no happier place. Young people, listen to me. There's no happier place in your life that you'll ever be than serving the Lord. Now, of course, the devil comes along, boy, you ain't going to have no fun as a teenager. You ain't going to have no fun growing up. You ain't going to have no fun when you get older if you answer the call of God to preach or if you serve the Lord all the days of your life and all you follow me around, amen, sometimes, and you'll see how happy you can be and be a Christian, amen. Sure, the devil fights. Sure, he gives me a hard time, but I'd rather have Jesus than everything. I'd rather have old-time religion than anything I know, amen. Glad I'm born again. Will you serve the Lord this year? I challenge you, will you answer the call of God and serve the Lord this year with gladness? The Bible says, serve the Lord with gladness. Come before His presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, He is God. It is He that hath made us and not we ourselves. We are His people and the sheep of His pastor. Enter into His gates with thanksgiving into His courts with praise. Be thankful unto Him and bless His name for He's a good God. The Lord is good. Amen. Will you serve Him? Will you follow Him? I think God's people ought to make up their mind this year. Look, it ain't going to be like it was last year with me. Amen. I didn't, it ain't going to be like it was last year with me. I want to pray harder. I want to study more. I want to preach with more fervor than I've ever preached before. Why? Because this may be the last year I get to preach. Death may come along or the rapture may take place or the government try to, may try to shut us down and I want to do the best I can until Jesus comes. Amen. Father, we thank you for the word of God this morning. I thank you for your help. Lord, I thank you, God, for clearing my throat up and letting me preach. Lord, we bless you for that. I thank you, Lord, for the prayers of the people. Lord, I pray right now, God, that you'd encourage our hearts. I pray, God, you challenge us today, God, to serve you. 
more faithful than we did the year before. God, may we go on and serve Thee. We'll thank You in Jesus' name.